with my I'm Sidisha and today's session is going to be on the topic converting minutes into seconds and the seconds into minutes so vice versa let's get into the video so here we are converting the 120 minutes to seconds and the vice versa here we are converting the 360 seconds to minutes let's see now how to convert the we all know that 1 minute equals to 60 seconds. So now in order to convert the minutes into seconds in the place of minutes, we are going to take it as seconds. So how many seconds? 1 minute equals to 60 seconds. So we are taking here 60 seconds. And we are multiplying this 60 seconds by 120. So 120 into 60. Simply multiply this to get your answer in seconds. So now here, here I am taking two zeros. As we have two zeros, I am taking here two zeros. Next, 12, 6, 12, 5, 60, 12, 6, 72. Now here, 72. We got our answer that is 7200 seconds. So what we have done here, we have taken the 120 minutes and by using this, 1 minute equals to 60 seconds. In the place of minutes, we have taken 60 seconds and we multiplied it by 120 to get our answer. So as I have here two zeros, I brought it down two zeros and I have multiplied the 12 by 6 in order to get our answer. So our answer is 7200 seconds. Now let's see how to convert the seconds into minutes. So, when we are converting the minutes into seconds, we have done our multiplication. But when we are converting the seconds into minutes, we have to divide it by 60. Because 1 minute equals to 60 seconds. So, as we are converting that into minutes, we are going to do division. So, take this 360 and you can divide it by 60. Or... Simply you can cancel it. We will see the both methods. Which method you feel better and you feel comfortable. You can do those methods. So now 60 1 60 62 is 120. 63 is 180. 64 is 240. 65 300. And 66 360. So now I am taking 66 as 360. Now we got our answer that is. So, whatever we got in the quotient, that will be your answer. Now, we have converted 360 seconds to minutes. So, that minutes is 6 minutes. Without doing the division, you can simply do the cancellation. So, if you feel this as a difficult one, you can simply take the 360 and you can divide it by 60. So, cancel it. 0 and 0. 6 once 6 and 6 6 are 36. So we got our answer that is 6 minutes. Now let's see with one more example. Let's see this now. Here we are converting the 240 minutes into seconds. So while we are converting the minutes into seconds, we know that we have 1 minute equals to 60 seconds. So in the place of minutes, we are taking 60 seconds. So take 60 seconds. And we have to multiply the 60 seconds by the number 240. So we are multiplying it by 240. So simply I am getting these two zeros down. Because 0 into 0, 0 only. So I am just getting these two zeros down. That is two zeros here. Next 24 into 6. 6 fours 24. And 6 twos 12. And we add 2. So it will become 14. So 14,400 seconds. So what we have done? Take 1 minute equals to 60 seconds and in the place of minutes substitute the 60 seconds and multiply it by 240 and which you will get 14,400 seconds. So we have converted our minutes into seconds simply by doing multiplication. So by what we have multiplied? We have multiplied it by 60 seconds. So now see how we have to convert the 380 seconds into minutes. So while we are converting the seconds into minutes, simply we have to take the division. So we have to divide the 380 by 60. So I will tell the both the methods 60 divided by 380 seconds. We have to divide 380 by 60. 60 one sixty, 62 is 120, 63 is 180, 64 is 240, 65 is 
366, 360. So now I am taking 66, 360. Now we have to subtract it. 0 minus 0 gives 0 and 8 minus 6 gives 2. And as this is the, we got the reminder because we cannot continue the division. Now what we get? So 6 minutes, 20 seconds. The reminder we have to count it. So 6 minutes, this will be your minutes. The quotient will be the minutes and the reminder will be the seconds. 6 minutes, 20 seconds. In the same way, you can do it in the cancellation method. So what we have done here, when we are converting the seconds into minutes, we have to divide it by 60 because 1 minute equals to 60 seconds. So take the 60 and we have to divide the 380 by 60. So 66 is 360 and we got our reminder as 20. So whatever the value we got in the quotient, that will be the minutes and what value we got in the reminder, that will be your seconds. So take the 6 minutes and 20 seconds. In this way we have to convert our minutes into seconds and the seconds into minutes. Hope I have helped you in converting the minutes into seconds and the seconds into minutes. If you like the video, you know what you have to do. Yes, please give me a thumbs up and show your love towards our channel. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon which is right next to the subscribe button. And if you have any further queries, leave me a comment. I will get back to you. Stay tuned for the channel for more interesting and easy content. Thank you for watching the video.